Welcome to week five of Algebra One with Mrs. Weibark. This week we will be discussing the point slope form of linear equations and how to convert an equation from point slope to slope intercept form. So far this year we have been using linear equations in slope intercept form. In this case y equals mx plus b in which m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Keep in mind that B represents the point on the line that crosses the Y axis and it has the coordinates 0, B. Sometimes we don't know what the Y intercept of a line is, but we still need to be able to write the equation, such as in the example shown here. If I don't know the Y intercept, I use the point slope form of the linear equation. M still represents slope and I use any other point on the line. This point is represented by x1, y1 in the equation below. So in this case I have y minus y1 equals m times in parentheses x minus x1. m is slope x1 is the x-coordinate of a point on the line, and y1 is the y-coordinate of the same point. In this example, I have this line here shown in purple, and I need to write the equation. I can use the slope, which I can find using rise over run, and I can see that it is 2 over 1, or a slope of 2. And I can pick any point on the line. I chose the point 3, 4. So to write this equation in point slope form, I will substitute 2 for m, 3 for x1, and 4 for y1. So my equation is y minus 4 equals 2 times x minus 3. In this next example, I am asked to write the equation of a line with slope 3 that passes through the point 4, 7. There are two steps to do this. The first step is to substitute the slope for m. So my equation becomes y minus y1 equals 3 for m times x minus x1. My next step is to substitute the point coordinates for x1 and y1. This gives me the equation y minus 7 equals 3 times, in parentheses, x minus 4. And I'm done. That's the point slope form of that equation. In this third example, I'm not given the slope of the line. Instead, I am given two points. I can still use the point slope form of the equation. I'm going to write the equation of the line that passes through the points 4, 7, and 6, 11. So my first step is to find the slope and substitute it for m. You may recall the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's how we find the slope when given two points. So I'm going to substitute in 11 for y2, 7 for y1, 6 for x2, and 4 for x1. This gives me a slope of 4 over 2, which is simplified to 2. So I now have y minus y1 equals 2 times x minus x1. My second step is to substitute one of the point's coordinates for x1 and y1. This gives me at y minus 7 equals 2 times x minus 4. You should now have completed page 1 of your notes. In example 4, I have a formula in point slope, but I now need to convert it to slope intercept. This is a common problem in algebra. So starting with a point slope equation such as y minus 7 equals 2 times x minus 4, I'm going to solve for y. So my first step is going to be to add 7 to both sides. I want to add or subtract to isolate the y over here. When adding 7, I get y equals 2 times x minus 4 plus 7. Be careful to add the 7 to the end of the equation. Do not add it to the negative 4 within the parentheses. My second step will be to distribute the 2. This yields y equals 
2 times x is 2x minus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 7. And lastly, I'm going to simplify by combining like terms to get y equals 2x minus 1. And this is the slope internet, um, I'm sorry, this is the slope intercept equation of the same line. In step or example five, we're going to put it all together. So we're going to find the equation of a line in slope intercept form that contains the point nine one and has a slope of five. Since I'm given a point that is not the y-intercept, I'm going to start by using the point slope form. So my first step is to substitute for m and for x1, y1. So m is five, x1 is one, and y1 is nine. In order to solve for y, I'm going to add 9 to both sides, which yields y equals 5 times x minus 1 plus 9. I'll then distribute the 5 and get y equals 5x minus 5 times 1 is 5 plus 9. And now I simplify by combining like terms to get y equals 5x plus 4. This completes the second page of your notes. Only one more example to go. In this last example, I am asked to find the equation of a line in slope intercept form that contains two points, 8, 5, and 6, 4. I'm going to have to start by using point slope, and because they did not give me the slope, I have to first find it. So this is going to take several steps. Our first step is to find the slope. So again, I will use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to substitute 4 for y2, 5 for y1, and when I subtract, that gives me negative 1. x2 is 6, x1 is 8, and when I subtract, I get negative 2. And negative 1 over negative 2 can be simplified to a positive 1 half. So I'm going to substitute now into the point slope equation one half for m, and I'm going to use my first point and substitute 8 for x and 5 for y1. I then add 5 to both sides in order to isolate the y, so I'm left with y equals 1 half times x minus 8 plus 5. I'll distribute the 1 half, which will give me y equals 1 half x minus 1 half times 8 is 4, plus 5. And when I simplify by combining like terms, I am left with y equals 1 half x plus 1. And that concludes the third page of notes. Thank you for watching this Wybark production.